This video will discuss about the principles of tooth preparation for FPD. Now, first of all, we must know what is tooth preparation. Tooth preparation, according to GPT-8, is defined as the removal of diseased or healthy enamel, dentine, cementum to shape a tooth to receive restoration. Now we are guided by certain principles. First I will broadly classify the principles of tooth preparation and then we will go into the subheadings as well. So first of all uh, there are three basic principles. First is the biological principle. Second is the mechanical principle and the third one is the aesthetic principle. Now in biologic principle we further have three principles. So the three principles are the, pre uh, the prevention of damage, conservation of truth structure and marginal integrity. Okay. Now, in mechanical, we further have three principles again. So, the first principle being the resistance principle. The second principle being the retentive principle. And the third being the uh, structure durability. In aesthetic also, we have three principles. The, those are partial veneer crowns, all ceramic and all uh, metallic okay now we will discuss the biologic principles in a more detailed format so first is the prevention of damage all right so uh, prevention of damage to exactly what uh, three stru three structures basically first is to the adjacent tooth then to the soft tissues and to pulp Okay, now how can it be done? Uh, first of all, we can use a metal matrix band around the tooth. Then there can be a thin layer, proxim thin layer of proximal enamel retained. Then uh, we can use thin papered diamonds. Also, undesirable angulation to be avoided. Now, for the soft tissue part, first of all, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to do careful retraction with mouth mirror or suction tip. Then we have pulp. Now, uh, pulp can be damaged by three things uh, the temperature the chemical action and bacterial action now for temperature uh, it can occur because of the friction uh, we need to use water spray retention features to be made at low speeds okay now in chemical action uh, it is usually due to the materials which uh, happen to uh, do chemical action on the freshly cut dentine so we can use uh, cavity varnish uh, dentine bonding agents then we can also do the uh, cleaning and degreasing of agents for chemical irritants in bacterial it can be uh, because uh, if when it is all carious so the dentine is removed then the bacteria they gain access micro leakage also uh, we can uh, use zinc phosphate cement because it has antibacterial properties this i discussed when i was doing dental materials okay uh, now conservation of tooth structure very important points first of all it is uh, the preparation of tooth wait to remember it just remember comma all right now for comma, first of all, uh, by C, preparation of conservative finish lines. We will discuss about finish lines in another video. By O, you can remember preparation of occlusal surface 
following anatomic planes preparation of tooth with minimal paper then avoidance of sub gingival margins this is the topic which i will discuss in detail in next video sub gingival equi gingival and supra okay sub gingival margin unless indicated now uh, just for a short thing uh, sub gingival margin is usually indicated in the anteriors because uh, it is aesthetically very appropriate and uh, uh, but however we we will try to avoid it if we are dealing with the posterior teeth all right and the fifth one double a so preparation of this is very important point preparation of axial surface using deep orientation grooves and proper width of diamond points now i think all of it has gotten uh, mixed up but i will uh, clean it up again uh, also margin integrity just remember gap okay so geometry adaptation placement okay now let's just revise it all again so first of all tooth preparation it is the removal of the diseased or the healthy enamel dentin cementum to shape the tooth to receive a restoration then we have three principles the biologic mechanical and aesthetic so first of all discussing about the biologic biologic again divided into three more principles prevention of damage conservation of tooth structure and margin integrity now prevention of damage to what to adjacent tooth to soft tissue to pulp okay now how can we do it to the adjacent tissue learnt in cons use a metal matrix band isolation okay then a uh, thin layer of proximal enamel should be retained and we should use thin tapered diamond burrs and also undesirable angulation should be avoided uh, then coming on to the soft tissue then careful retraction by using a, a mouth mirror or a suction tape now pulp can be damaged in three ways we will discuss we have discussed them now conservation of the tooth structure very important remember comma so by c first of all make conservative finish lines finish lines are basically uh, Uh, there are the terminal lines or the peripheral extension of a prepared tooth uh, we will again discuss it uh, discuss it again it is a very interesting topic so just remember comma conservative finish lines occlusal surface following anatomic planes very important then m m for minimal taper a for the axial surface using deep orientation grooves and proper width of diamond points then again a avoidance of sub gingival margins unless indicated then for the uh, margin integrity we have uh, gap geometry adaptation placement so conservative finish lines occlusal surface minimal taper sub avoidance of sub gingival margin also preparation of axial surface using deep orientation proper width okay um this is the biological principles now we will discuss the mechanical principles the subdivisions of mechanical principles all right so mechanical principles so the first one being the retentive then we have resistance form is maybe form and the third one being the structure durability all right uh, now uh, it is very important to remember the uh, definition of retention uh, resistance and stability so uh, i will just uh, give us a brief thing uh, basically what is retention it is the feature of tooth preparation feature of tooth preparation to resist the dislodgement of crown in vertical direction this is important okay in vertical direction or along the path of placement okay now what is the difference between resistance write the entire thing here same just convert this into what i'm going to write feature of tooth preparation to resist the dislodgement of crown in or along any axis other than path of insertion okay this is the difference and what about this it is the basically durability right so it is the ability of structure or ability of restoration to last 
long without damage under occlusal forces okay so i hope it is clear what is retention basically we have to retain it right we have to retain it into the same uh, position so for the same position what we will need is along the path of placement vertical direction now resistance resistance basically means that you are taking out something and it is resisting so it is going to resist any force which is along any axis other than the path of insertion very self explanatory durability is simple last long how much it will last long under the influence of occlusal forces now the points that you must remember here first of all is the geometry of preparation then the second one being the magnitude of dislodging forces then path of insertion then we have the um Wait. then we have the yeah the material being cemented then we have type of luting agent then we have the roughness of fitting surface of casting now to remember resistance form just remember g geometry of preparation m t same okay structure durability uh, we all know uh, who has a organization which is f a o okay so by f we have function uh, functional cusp bevel a axial reduction o occlusal reduction okay so these are the principles yeah mechanical we have done aesthetic i have already mentioned so yeah these are the principles i hope i made it easier for you to understand and remember it well in exam in the next video we'll discuss about the basically we'll discuss about the margins the finish lines all right so thanks for watching do subscribe to my channel if you like the video thank you